Hi friends, welcome back to Ravenbrook Farmstead. It's been a while. I think our last video was last year, kind of around this time. Um, and so I figured I'd take today while I'm putting in asparagus to show you, first of all, how we're doing that. And then secondly, to tell you what we've been up to in the last year or so, because um, it's been a wild ride. And I think that we finally come to a place where we can um, make videos a little bit more often. So I guess to start off with the asparagus, we are planting purple passion asparagus. Now, this is the first time I've ever grown it. And I feel like when I've uh, watched videos on gardening and asparagus, the one piece of advice I've heard consistently is plant it sooner than you think. Like every gardener's biggest regret is not planting asparagus in our first year. Now this is our second year here, so we're a little bit behind, but we weren't really sure what the flow of the garden would be. Um, and since this is gonna be here for a really long time, we didn't want to make a mistake in where we put it. So now that we've gotten a better sense of how this yard is gonna come together in terms of our garden and our fruit trees, um, we feel pretty good about uh, a location where this can stay and be at home forever. So I started this bed basically by clearing it all out. So I know you don't wanna have any um, uh, grasses or weeds or anything in the area. So I took an edging shovel and I just basically lifted all of the grass um, there's a different channel that I saw tried the flipping method with the grass where they flip it over to put it face down and then cover it with straw. So we're going to try that for some of it, but not for the area where the asparagus are growing. Um, in this bed, we are also going to be planting strawberries once we get those um, coming to us. So that is our vision um, for this particular bed. So after I cleared all of the growth off with an edging shovel, um, I dug this trench. So I dug it a foot um, deep. I know a lot of the times they say to do, you know, more like eight inches, but I went for the full 12 for two reasons. First, we live in Maine, and so it's pretty cold here, um, and it, it can protect the roots more to be a little bit deeper into the ground. Um, and the place where we got these from, which is a Maine seed company, um, recommended if you're in a colder climate, dig them a little deeper. The second reason is because we're planting them with strawberries, and so what we want is for the asparagus to be at a deeper root level and the strawberries to be a little bit higher up. So that's why we're planting these a little bit deeper. Uh, so we did have stuff growing in this region before. So some of this soil has been amended and it's pretty good, but I also have a wheelbarrow here full of compost. Um, so I guess we'll get started and um, make our first mound. So after we dig the trench, um, we want to kind of lay in some more nutrient rich soil and build kind of a mound with the soil. So. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So some of you guys have been asking us where we've been because <laughs> um, we started uh, last year doing a lot of filming of videos and then we stopped and the truth is um, we got a little busy. So I took on a second job um, that took up a lot of my time. So we didn't really have the, the extra bandwidth to make videos last year. It kind of was a point where we could either work on our projects at home or we could make videos. So we couldn't do both. Um, and so this year I only have one job, which is great. So I have a lot more time to dedicate to um, making videos and content in addition to our projects. <laughs> uh, and so I'm really, really looking forward to it because it was something I enjoyed doing last, last year. Um, in terms of what we've been doing since, uh, that mound's gotta be a little bigger. <laughs> in terms of what we've been up to, we. We did a lot last year. Um, we put in all of most of our raised beds, although we are adding a couple of more beds this year. Um, we have been really busy with renovating our barn, which is mostly done. So we'll definitely do an update video on that. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Those two were a lot of work. Um, this year, our goal is to um, try to increase our efficiency with our growing so that we can have enough food to preserve. Because even though we had really good harvest last year, we didn't really make enough uh, to make it worth it to do any preservation. So that is one thing that we are really looking forward to, to trying this year. So that's, that's number one. Number two is um, Dan and I, even though we are married, we actually never had a wedding because 
Um, our wedding got canceled twice because of COVID. Um, so this year we're having it um, here in our backyard on our little homestead. And our goal is to do some landscaping and build some cool infrastructure for the wedding that we're gonna be able to enjoy for many, many, many years to come, right? We don't wanna just buy stuff for the wedding that's gonna be one-time use. We wanna, build, we wanna take that money for the wedding and really invest it into some really awesome uh, things that we can enjoy. So it kind of does double duty, right? It acts as a way to have a beautiful party, but also that we can always remember that when we built, um, you know, this patio or this pizza oven, um, that that was the time that we celebrated our marriage. So that that's something that we're really looking forward to. We also have about 14 fruit trees that we've ordered. So we're gonna be planting our orchard. We've had to take down several trees in the last year, just because they were diseased or falling down or hazard. Um, which is sad because this backyard, I think, was a lot cozier and dreamier. Uh, and so it's a lot more open and bare now, which we don't like, but it is basically creating a lot more space for, um, for better growth. So um, more productive, fruit-bearing, healthy, young. And so we're excited. It's, again, of course, going to be a long time until our backyard looks as dreamy as it used to, um, just because it takes time for those trees to grow. But eventually... I think it's going to be even more beautiful than it was. So to show you guys what we did to um, finish off these asparagus beds, we just went and piled up mounds and then laid the crowns atop. Typically for green asparagus, I've been reading that they want to space them a foot apart, um, but for the purple asparagus, uh, the information that I received was to space them a little bit closer together, about eight to six inches. So that is what I did. I kind of put it at that eight inch mark. So then I just very lightly topped it off with some soil um so that it's about covered by two inches and i laid straw mulch over the top and this is um, for a couple of reasons one is just to lock in moisture because so we're not getting a lot of rain right now but um, the other reason is because we don't want any grass or weeds to grow so apparently asparagus is really really sensitive to anything competing with the surface so we're trying to keep it as weed free as possible this particular straw isn't fresh it's actually been overwintered it was left over from mushroom beds that we put in last year so that is all we had to do today um as the, the asparagus grows up we'll be filling in more dirt around the base of the crowns as they grow but that is all that we are doing today so with that i will sign you off with some really cute videos of finney running in the snow this winter having a blast um, i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video who's that yeah <laughs> yeah!